Hi, my name is Tim Madigan. I'm the author of a book called I'm Proud of You, My Friendship with Fred Rogers. In uh, the fall of 1998 or 97, I believe it was, I, I, I met Fred Rogers through a newspaper assignment. Uh, I was a journalist in, in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, that assignment a pro, and a pro, profile of Fred led to a, a friendship, a close friendship between the two of us that lasted until he died in 2003. And um, in our first conversation on the telephone, the first time we ever talked and late in a long interview, he said to me, Tim, do you know what's the most important thing in my life is right now? And I said, well, Mr. Rogers, we just met. How could I possibly know that? And he said, it's talking to Mr. Tim Madigan on the telephone. And there's something about the way he said it where, where I knew that he was being absolutely genuine. And that little exchange, I think, touched on what I believe to be the foundation of his human greatness, which is in every human interaction and in every human encounter, no matter what the circumstances or no matter what the duration of that encounter might be, he was completely with a person. He was completely with you. Whatever you would say, he would take in uh, to this kind of place of spiritual, sacred emptiness without his, any of his own preoccupations or agendas and listen, uh, listen to what you had to say. And then he would respond from this uh, kind of the mystical place with always compassion, love, wisdom, and never judgment. Um, and then as it seems like it's such a, such a simple thing, and, it, and perhaps it is, but it's really difficult for most of us humans uh, to have that kind of presence and that kind of intentionality in our relationships. But he was that way. And not only what, was he present to you, but he wanted to know the truth of your life. Uh, he, he wanted to know what he called your, about what he called your essential invisibles, what is it about another person that doesn't meet the eye? Often these things are painful. The anger, the shame, the depression, the, the lack of uh, confidence. And so he wanted to know these things. And he also knew, and he in various ways uh, taught a generation of, uh, generations of children this, that those things are not character defects, that they're just part of what makes us human. And the thing about it is, is that, you know, as he taught, as he taught me and millions of children as, you know, those are things that are just part of what makes us human. And we don't have to be uh, hiding, you know, from uh, these, these painful and often difficult feelings. We don't have to hide them from one another. We're all messes as human beings, to put it another way, but we don't have to be messes alone. I got to experience that firsthand and close friendship with him over a long period of time. Uh, and I think that millions of children got to experience that through his program. And they should know that he quite literally wanted to be present to everyone who watched his program and make eye contact, you know, with everyone who watched. The message being it's hard to be human no matter what age you are, but you don't have to be uh, in pain or isolated or lonely, uh, that you can share with another person uh, who wants to know the truth of your life and kind of step out of the shadows into the sunlight of, of humanity that uh, we're all, uh, we all suffer. We all have hard times, but we don't have to suffer alone.